Barbara Fernandez. Welcome to Geek SLP TV, episode number 22. Now, back from Asha, it was really exciting to get to meet people that I have been emailing back and forth all throughout the year, or chatting and tweeting back and forth. So I'm actually already looking forward to the Asha next year, Asha 2012. But let's go to the point, and today I want to show you guys a little trick on the iPad. A lot of people don't realize that when they close an app from running by pressing the home button, the app hasn't really closed. And all those apps start clogging up the memory that is running on your iPad. So today I'm gonna show you a screen of my app and how we're gonna close down those apps. And don't worry, you're not deleting them. But let me show you guys how that works. You guys are not looking at the screen of my iPad and I want to show you guys a trick to improve the performance of your iPad. Many people don't realize that the iPad allows you to run apps on the background so that you can switch back and forth between apps without that time uh, gap for loading the app itself. So what we're going to do to show the apps is you can tap the home button two times. So let me exit. You tap once and then you tap two times and you can see here on the bottom of the screen I can scroll and show you all the apps that I had running on the background. This is not the list of the apps on your iPad. This is a list of the apps that you have currently opened on your device. And what this is doing is taking up memory from your iPad. So sometimes you're going to see that your iPad starts running a little slower or a specific app won't open because it requires more than the allowed memory, than the allotted memory that you have currently available. So what you need to do, you need to close some of these apps. And again, I'm going to double tap and what you're going to do is you're going to hold the icon. And as you can see, you have the minus sign and you're going to start closing this, these apps. I should be ashamed of myself for having so many apps running on the background. This is really not very good. What I try to do is towards the end of my day, I try to close as many apps as I can. This gets really important also if, for example, one of your apps got frozen and you realize that you have not been able to open it again. Some of you even reboot the iPad, so you turn it off and you turn it back on and you think that that closed the app that really didn't if you double tap you see the app is still running in the background even if you do if you do turn the iPad completely and turn on again the apps are still gonna be running in the background to close you really need to double tap and take and close them from the bottom of the screen now another way that you can access that is by using four of your fingers and sliding up this is a gesture that allows you to access the dock where the apps are running. I'm going to just go ahead and close a few. Now what I'm going to do is to show you guys another trick that is switching between apps. So I have here my timer that I like to use for my presentations and I want to switch to my next app. I can use my four fingers to switch between apps. And this is going to switch between the apps that you have open on your dock in this case down here these apps these uh, five apps that I have opened that was it for today I hope you enjoyed Geek SLP TV episode number 22 wow it's been a lot of videos I cannot believe 22 well I'll see you guys next time on Geek SLP TV episode number 23 bye